Hi, I'm Joe from A Smarter Home Canada. In 2019, Google, Apple, Amazon, and something called the Zigbee Alliance created a new smart home protocol. That protocol was called CHIP, or Project Connect Home over IP. Obviously, not exactly knowing how an acronym works, they changed the name over time to MATTER. Their goal was to simplify the smart home by taking all the protocols we have now and go forward with just one perfect protocol. It's been five years. <laughs> but I finally have a Matter product. This is the Cara Door and Window Sensor P2 that works with Matter. So in this video, we're going to see how easy it is to set something up using the Matter protocol. And we're going to give this a little review as well. Currently in my home, every smart home product I have runs over Wi-Fi. I don't have any Zigbee. I don't have Z-Wave. Everything is Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi that I'm using is the Google Mesh Generation 1. It can handle a lot of devices, but if you look at the amount of devices actually connected to this network at any given time, I'm almost over 80 right now. And that number can go up if company comes and things like that. Because of the drain that is being put on my Wi-Fi system, I'm looking forward to getting new matter-based products to help bring that strain down and keep things a little more localized. One great thing with Matter, it doesn't even need an internet connection. So your smart home will always be up and running as long as the power is on. Okay, let's get this unboxed. As always, if there's anything important on the box, I'll write it up for you. Just information on the sides and some weird logos on the bottom. First, let's pull the sensors out of the box and uh, then we've got your manual here. Be sure to hold on to this because you will need the QR code on the back to complete your setup. Looks like we've got a little magnet here and then the sensors themselves. And that's everything that's in the box. Okay, it's time to get this connected to the smart home. So, step one is just simply pull the tag. Pull the tag. Oh. Pull the tag. And then the sensor light starts blinking. Now it's ready to connect up. So on my phone, I'm just gonna open up the Google Home and click add and then there's a one of the selection is matter in matter enabled device we're going to click on that and it's going to want me to scan the barcode the barcode is located on the back of your info pack barely glanced at it and grabbed it already and then it says connect this device to your google account agree get ready for setup and it's found the device Connecting the device to Google Home. It's got a nice little picture of it there. Press done and select what room this is going in. And we're putting this in the garage. And I'm just going to name it Side Door Sensor because that's where I'm going to use this. And that's it for setup. Pretty easy. For those of you who are using Amazon Alexa and wondering how to do the setup, if you are just using Amazon Alexa, the setup is exactly the same. You, you scan the QR code, Alexa finds it, connects it up, you name the product, set a room, and you're done. So exactly the same process. However, if you have both Google Home and Amazon Alexa, the setup for that is a little bit different. If you just go into the Alexa 
Alexa app and try to start the process scanning the QR code, it's not going to find the product. It's just going to keep looking and then it'll tell you that product is already set up under something else. The app is going to tell you it needs an 11 digit code. This code enables Alexa to talk to the Matter product. I myself could not find an 11 digit code, but this is how I set it up. I opened up the Google Home app, found the device I wanted to link, clicked on it, went to its settings, and then clicked on Link Matter Apps and Services. From there, I clicked Link Apps and Services and selected the Amazon Alexa app on the inside. This then sent a link directly to Amazon Alexa, which could now discover and set up the device. All right, so we're just gonna run a quick testing experiment here. There's really not much to it. It's a door sensor, so all it does is mark if something's open, mark if something's closed. We're gonna see how fast that happens here. So I'm gonna open and close it five times, time each one, and see what the result is overall. Let's start. I'm just going to take the footage and figure out how much time it actually took. Now that we have our data, let's take a look at the results. On average, it took about 2.135 seconds for the contact sensor to notify the app of a change in state. With opening the sensor coming in at 2.156 on average, and closing the sensor coming in at 2.126 on average. It seems by using matter you get a pretty decent response time for things like contact sensors. When I ran the experiment, I did have the hub close to the contact sensors. I don't know if by increasing that distance, that time overall will slow down. That's something I'll have to check at a later time. But for running this particular test, worked really well. I'm just gonna go install these on the door, and to do that, all you need to do is remove the little blue backing and stick it right where you want it. Well, that's been my first step into the Matter environment. The product itself, it's probably gonna be useful down the line. I plan to make a couple of routines, maybe one that'll alert the Alexa beside my bed if the door opens at a really weird hour at like 2 a.m. or something. Might have it that at dusk, if the side door opens, the garage light comes on. Simple stuff like that. As for Matter itself, I'm still not convinced. There's a few things that have me a little worried. The main one being, I cannot put this product into the Acara app without getting an Acara hub. I thought that the whole point of Threads and Matter was that you won't need to buy all these extra hubs, have a stack of hubs plugged into a random room in your house hidden away just so the lights can work. I know using threads, you don't need to use the products app itself. You can just use your Google Home or Amazon. But sometimes you really need that app. I can think of several situations. My Govi curtain lights, my Akara presence sensor. That's going to completely lose the maps. So at this point, I don't know. I guess this is just going to be our journey forward. And that's going to be it for this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Click on the beaver when he shows up during the song. If you didn't, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching.